Hello everyone, Kazo War here, and I'm making this video to show um, this new program I completed a few days ago. It's a third generation save editor, and the reason I made it is because there's there's been some in the past, but they either weren't in English or they were extremely confusing to figure out how to use. So I made this one here. It works for all the all uh, all the games for third generation for all regions. So just open your file there. You can edit your Pokedex. You can edit what Pokemon you've seen or owned. If you have the national decks, what unknown form the Pokedex shows, uh what spots location for Spinda is shown in the Pokedex as well. There's storage edit where you can see the Pokemon in your boxes. You can see the box name here. You can edit the box name. You can see what Pokemon you have. And on the side there it shows some basic information. It shows their nickname, their gender, their level, uh, their uh, nature, their ability, if they're holding an item, and then their attacks. It's just a, uh, a little thing I added to be able to quickly find Pokemon. Like if you're looking for one that has a certain move or something and you have like multiple of the same Pokemon there. You just skim through your box till you find the one that's the right one you're looking for. So for each square here is a slot for the Pokemon. You just right click on a square. Brings up this menu. You can edit, save it, open a new one or delete it gonna click edit here. And this is the Pokemon editor. You can pretty much edit everything except for ribbons. I haven't added that yet. I need to figure out all the ribbon values before I put that in there. I just haven't gotten around to that yet. So that's pretty much that there. The PID generator, you just click the button there. And it does not do any IVs to PID or PID to IVs or whatever. If you want your Pokemon to be like super legal that you care about that, then I would suggest using another program that does it and then just put the IVs in that the program says and then put the PID in that the program says as well. I might add that later but I haven't done that yet and I had to don't even know how to do that yet. Yeah, I gotta do research on that to figure out exactly what I need to do to figure out like what IVs go to which pit and stuff like that. So you can change the ability here. You can't give your Pokemon an ability they don't have because that data does not exist in the Pokemon file. It's either a one or a zero for ability one or ability zero. So that's why the ability at ability is in there and not somewhere on here where you can just give it whatever ability you want. You can give it the nature you want here and if it's shiny, if it's an unknown you can edit what form it is. If it's a worm pull you can edit what Pokemon the worm pull evolves into. If it's Spinda you can edit where his spots are. But if you edit his spots it will give it an entirely new pit and if you try to generate a pit afterwards it will mess up his spots because his spots like every every bit of the entire PID determines where his spots are so um, you can't really set his spots and then have what you want here whatever his spots are is what you're going to get for this information here so that's that there so there's the stats there you can change this and it will update the stats down there just make it a little higher so you can see the numbers change so as you change the numbers those are changing you can't and give your Pokemon over 255 or 510 that's 510 there it won't go up no matter what you click or type in it stays zero so there's that there I know some people probably don't like that but I really don't want people making 255 all Pokemon and then trying to battle with them on 
like the the linking GBA emulator thingy. So that's that there. You could change the IVs. As you change the IVs, it shows what the new hidden power is. You can also just go down here and set a hidden power, and it will set the IVs accordingly. As you can see, the speed IVs are extremely low because this Pokemon probably has a speed reducing nature relaxed. Let's give it a one that's not reduced speed there. And then now, as you change this, it's up there, the 31 or 30. And then there's the moves there. You can add PP ups, and it shows you total uh, PP there on the side. You won't, you can't edit that because I don't want people putting 999 there or something. So that's that there. And yeah, you can't edit your stats either. You're stuck with whatever this gives you. So then there's the met information. If it's a trainer with male or female or whatever, you can change the ID numbers. And also, you can click this button here, and it sets the information as if you captured it yourself. You can set the game language there. Uh, what game it came from. Let's see the Pokeball it was captured in. Level met. If you're trying to make a hatch Pokemon, level met will be zero. Otherwise, it'll just say it was captured and not hatched from an egg. So if you want to have it from an egg, set that to zero. And then that's the location. So far, it just shows the Emerald location name, which concludes the Ruby and Sapphire location list here. And then it goes into here. And it goes into Fire Red Leaf Green's location list there. And then down here should be a uh, Emerald only. And then a bunch of blanks, and then there's trade and faithful counter at the very end. They this should work, you know, for all games, no matter what game version you're using. It shows the same list there, so like all the values share the same between all three games. Though if you're using a value higher, like say naval rock, that was not in Ruby and Sapphire, so it will say something else in Ruby and Sapphire when you load the game. But so that's those information there. It does not show Coliseum locations yet. I have a list but it's not perfect. I need to either try to dump the list from the games themselves or figure out how to make a better list. So that's that there. Party edits the same thing except for it's only sixth and you can change your party count number. Item edit shows your item pocket, the Pokeball pocket, TMs, berries, key items, and the uh, Pokemon uh, or the the computer storage system. There, just click on a slot, and then you can edit the item, and then give it an amount, and then click modify there. Trainer info you can change the trainer's name. The ID numbers. Pretty much all this information here is what's uh, put into the Pokemon when you click that button to put the mix it where you've captured it. So you can change that here if you need to. Time played, pretty much simple. Just how long the game you've been playing the game. Your money edit, the coin, your coin case. If you're playing Emerald, your battle points for the Battle Frontier. Here's a real time clock editor. Um, pretty much basically you can edit this information if you know what you're doing. But if uh, you're having a problem where your real-time clock's not updating, but you've replaced your battery or your battery's not dead or whatever, you just click that button there. It resets this all to zero. To it resets this information to that you started your game and you set the clock to midnight, and the battery your battery was dead. That's what this information here is. So if you reset that to that information, your real time clock should start working again. Unless your battery is dead, then uh you gotta replace your battery and then you can reset this and it will start working again. 
So that's that there. The save button is down here instead of up there because this is actually the order the items appear in your in-game menu, Pokedex first, then your party, your item, then your trainer, and then the save bu save button there. I did that, I thought it was kind of a little neat there, I don't know, might move it back. People really want to save and open together, but that's that there. If you're looking for a third generation save editor, I hope you uh, find this here and I hope it works out for what you need to use it for. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time.